sex determination. Reproduction is an essential life process which not only helps in survival of species but also helps in continuity of that race. During reproduction process, what determines whether an individual will be a male or a female? In different species, the sex of offspring is actually determined in different ways. For instance, in mammals, presence of Y chromosome is the factor responsible for being male. However, in birds, presence of X chromosome is an important factor for being female. In alligators, crocodiles, etc., the sex of the offspring is actually determined by the temperature at which the eggs incubate. There are certain species of fish in which all members of the species start their life as males and then spontaneously change into females after nearly first 10 years of their lives or so. So, nature has different ways to make living species male or female. Sex determination is a biological system that determines the development of sexual characteristics in an organism. To learn about this system, let us discuss about chromosomes. These thread-like structures present in the nucleus of a cell are known as chromosomes. The nuclei of human cells contain 22 autosomes and two sex chromosomes. In females, the sex chromosomes are the two X chromosomes. Males have one X chromosome and one Y chromosome. The presence of the Y chromosome in the fertilized egg leads to a baby boy. A single Y chromosome is sufficient to produce maleness while its absence is necessary for femaleness. In case of humans, a male determines the sex because males produce two types of sperms. One type carries an X chromosome and the other type carries a Y chromosome. While females produce all eggs containing X chromosome only. You have already studied that in sexual reproduction, male and female gametes fuse during fertilization to form a zygote. This zygote then develops into a fetus. Sex of the child, male or female, depends on the type of sex chromosomes involved in the fertilization. In case of humans, the XY system of sex determination is found. The females have two of the same kind of sex chromosome, XX, and are called the homogametic sex. Males have two distinct sex chromosomes, X and Y, and are called heterogametic sex. A mature female will produce eggs, each with one X chromosome. A mature male will produce sperm with either an X chromosome 
or a Y chromosome. When an egg and a sperm fuse during reproduction, the chromosome that the sperm carries the information determines the sex of the child. This is the generally accepted theory of sex determination in man. Actually, human sex is decided by the male gamete, that is, sperm. Female gamete in humans is said to be homogametic because all its cells possess the X chromosome. Sperm gametes are heterogametic because around half of them contain the X chromosome and the other half carries the Y chromosome. Since sperm is a variable factor, it is responsible for determining sex. There are two possibilities that can occur during fertilization. Let us see what these are. XY system of sex determination. In the human male, each of the four sperm produced during gametogenesis contains 23 chromosomes. Gametogenesis is a biological process by which diploid or haploid precursor cells undergo cell division and differentiation to form mature haploid gametes. In case of male, this process is known as spermatogenesis where four sperms result from each primary spermatocyte cell. Two sperms contain X chromosome and the other two have Y chromosome. Oogenesis is a type of gametogenesis for producing female gametes, that is ovum. Like spermatogenesis, oogenesis also involves the creation of haploid sex cells through the process of meiosis. The female is the homogametic because all eggs carry a single X chromosome. The sex of the offspring is determined by whether the sperm that fertilizes the egg carries an X or a Y chromosome. Humans have the XY sex determination system. When meiosis takes place for the formation of gametes in a male, two types of male gametes, sperms are produced, one with an X chromosome and the other with a Y chromosome. That means half the sperms will have 22 plus X chromosome and the other half will have 22 plus Y chromosomes. But in females, only one type of gamete is produced. All ova will be having 22 plus X chromosome. The egg is always of one type. That is, all having X chromosome, whereas sperms are of two kinds. One with an X chromosome and the other with a Y chromosome. During fertilization, if a sperm containing an X chromosome fuses with the ovum to produce the zygote, the embryo will develop into a female baby. If the sperm containing Y chromosome fuses with the ovum to produce the zygote, 
the embryo will develop into a male baby. So, if it is a XX chromosome, it will be a girl and if it is a XY chromosome, it will be a boy. We can say that the father is responsible for the sex of the child in human beings. Sex Determination in Grasshopper The mechanism of sex determination in the grasshoppers is one of the simplest mechanisms of chromosomal sex determination and is called the XXXO system. In this system, females have two X chromosomes and males possess a single X chromosome. There is no other sex chromosome. The letter O signifies the absence of a sex chromosome. During meiosis in females, the two X chromosomes pair and then separate with one X chromosome entering each haploid egg. In males, the single X chromosome segregates in meiosis to half the sperm cells. The other half receives no sex chromosome. Because males produce two different types of gametes with respect to the sex chromosomes, they are said to be the heterogametic sex. Females which produce gametes that are all the same with respect to the sex chromosomes are the homogametic sex. In the XXXO system, the sex of an individual organism is therefore determined by which type of male gamete fertilizes the egg. X-bearing sperm unites with X-bearing egg to produce XX zygote, which eventually develops as female. Sperm lacking an X chromosome unites with the X-bearing egg to produce XO zygote, which develops into a male. Sex Determination in Birds most of the female birds are heterogametic and the males are homogametic. Females in this system are ZW. After meiosis, half of the eggs have a Z chromosome and the other half have a W chromosome. Male birds are ZZ and all sperms produced by them contain a single Z chromosome. The ZZZW system is found in birds, snakes, butterflies, some amphibians and some fishes. Ovum containing Z chromosome unites with the sperm having Z chromosome produces ZZ zygote which develops into a male. When the ovum containing W chromosome unites with the sperm having Z chromosome, it produces ZW zygote which develops into a female. Sex Determination in Plants the genetic basis of sex determination in plants is different from animals. Several experiments done on silene latifolia, which is a relatively small dioecious plant, have shown that the male plant has X and Y chromosomes, whereas the female plant is XX. In this species, Sex chromosomes, designated X and Y, are responsible for sex determination. In Melandrium album also, 
sex is determined by the presence of X and Y chromosomes. Papaya possesses three sex types, female, male and hermaphrodite. Depending on the genotype of a single sex determining locus present in the plant, the sex is differentiated. In many plants, sex is determined by hormonal effects. Cucumber is usually monoecious producing female flowers at the top of inflorescence and male flowers at the bottom. It has been found that sex is determined by the concentration of plant hormones ethylene and gibberellins. Gibberellins promotes the production of male flowers and ethylene promotes female sex. In maize also, plant hormone gibberellic acid regulates the emergence of the male and female inflorescences. Hormone gradients in these species are genetically determined by two or three different genetic loci. Role of Environmental Factors in Sex Determination Sex determination in some organisms is regulated by environmental factors and not regulated genetically. In some reptiles, the temperature at which the fertilized egg is incubated before hatching is important environmental factor for determining the sex of the offspring. Turtle In this species, Chrysema picta, high incubation temperature above 33 degrees Celsius results in the development of female progeny while a temperature below 28 degrees Celsius produces only male. Lizard Agama agama In this species, high incubation temperature results in male progeny while below 28 degrees Celsius produces only females. American Alligator In Alligator Mississippiensis, temperature controls sex development. When fertilized eggs of this alligator species are incubated at 33 degrees Celsius, nearly 100% of them produce male individuals. In contrast, when the eggs are incubated at a temperature a few degrees below 33 degrees Celsius, it produces nearly all females. In some animals, sex determination is very unique and keeps on changing throughout its life. Clownfish are protandrous hermaphrodites. They can switch from male to female. When the female of a pond dies, the reproductive male changes sex to become female. Male and female clownfish have the same chromosomal composition. The change in the sex of the fish is due to the change in the level of the male and female hormone produced by the gland present in the body. Snails also practice sex change. Adults start out male, then become female after some time. 